but the technology in the toys has completely changed. There's also a lot of ladies in the business. Um, so it is, again, when we first opened, you buy a toy and it would have a picture of a naked woman on front. And I'm sure if you were giving that to a lady as a present, it didn't really go down too well. Now it's nicer packaging. Um, you have, most of the toys aren't really phallic shaped anymore. They tend to be like pinks, purples, nothing black or a white flesh color. So yeah, it's changed quite a bit to be honest with you. Again, people expect it to be dark and dingy and on CD years ago, but it's not, you know, it's not just walking into a normal shop. Um, and obviously people who haven't had a toy before, it's best to come into a shop and not really buy anything online because there's a lot of things you need to know, like are they allergic to certain toys, what sort of thing are they looking for, because there's a, a wide, wide range of different toys. Right, basically you need to find out first of all if they've actually used one before. Because again, with the different materials, some people might be allergic to silicon or latex, that sort of thing. Also with lubricants, some people might be allergic to some of the ingredients. Um, so you need to talk to them about that sort of thing first of all. Also what sort of thing they're looking for, if it's their first time, um, especially for anal toys as well. Again, gets our special lubricants for that, which will take some of the stinging out. So basically it's best pop in because you need to know these sort of things. I don't say anything about my customers, never will. Never, never, as you ask me a question about someone who is in you, again, I can't answer the, any sort of question about my customers because someone comes in, it's very, very private. So we keep it very strictly confidential.